Hi, Rachel. So you asked me in class why centuries were a number off. And this is a question that so many people have trouble with. And I'm really glad you asked me because lots of students never ask and they just go through their whole life never really understanding this. And I'm sorry in class that I couldn't give you a quick and easy answer. So I wanted to make this video for you, yay. Okay, so how I tried to, an to answer you in class was think about when a baby is born. When a baby is born, that first year that it's alive, we count its life in months. Like when you say, oh, how old is your baby? We can't say that it's so many years old. We don't start counting the baby in years until it's one year old. We say it's one month, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, until it gets to one year old. One year, and then we say two years, three years, but that first year of that baby's life, we only count it by days and then weeks and then months. Well, when we think about all of time, we go the same way. And also when we're thinking about all of time, truly all of time, you know, we break it up by CE and BCE. We've got the common era and before the common era. And right now we're just talking about the common era. So if we're talking about only the common era here, so we're talking about these centuries, they're really isn't a year zero. There is no such thing as the year zero. It starts with one. I just put a zero on there so you could understand the numbers. There is no year zero. We start with the year one. So one through 100, we, one through 100 is considered the first century. So 100 through 200 is the second century, which means 200 through 300 is the third century. 300 through 400 is the fourth. 400 through 500 is the fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, and 21st. So that means let's just, I don't know, randomly choose this century right here. That means that the year, anything in here, if we're saying the year, let's say 532, the year 532 CE is the sixth century. The sixth century. Um, let's pick this century. The year, I don't know, 1126 is the 12th century. Let's pick something from here. The year, I don't know, 872 is the ninth century. There you go. That's why. Now, hopefully, you understand why the numbers 
always seem off. And if you have a little trouble remembering that, join the club of humanity. Everybody has a little trouble remembering that. But the way I always try to remember it is I always go back and just think of it as a little baby. Little babies, we don't count that first year. There's always a year and then we go with one. So there's always an entire century and then we go with one. Or you know what? No teacher that you ever have in your entire life is ever going to care if you just have to draw this little graph out on your paper. So, and you're not going to have to do the whole thing. If you ever just need to pick up some paper and scribble down 1 through 100, 101 through 200, 201 through 300, and go 1, 2, 3, just to remind yourself, there's no problem with that because then you'll, you'll remember and you'll be able to go, oh yeah, right, okay. The 600s are seven, the 800s are nine, the 1200s are 13, the 1400s are 15. You'll remember. Okay, I hope this helped. Bye-bye.